to one in this uh, series. Let's get it to Michael Kay and Paul O'Neill. And I know, Michael, you alluded to this, too. It is a good case scenario when Tanaka gives the ball to Green, but not in this case tonight. Yeah, once uh, once Tanaka couldn't get it out in the fifth inning, you knew they were kind of in trouble because the Yankee bullpen is not deep enough to get you 15 outs in a game. I mean, optimally, you would have liked to Tanaka to give you uh, six innings, and then you go Green, Britton, and uh, and Chapman. And we've been saying that you know they have three high leverage guys, but there's really two guys that they trust without any kind of hesitation, and that's Britton and Chapman. Green has had some bad games this year. Usually with a guy with his stuff, he does not usually get hit as hard as he has. So when he came in, he came in too early for him. He didn't have it. And then you look at the guys that have done well. Michael King gave them two strong innings. Nick Nelson pitched well. Louis Sessa did not pitch well. So the highest end Yankee relievers didn't do the job. But I think it fell apart when Tanaka gave up that home run to lead off the fifth inning. And I don't blame Boone for taking him at that point because you can't fall any further behind. It uh, it just unraveled. And you guys showed that possible strike him out, throw him out, double play. Uh, when that's a race because Carlson doesn't think that's strike three, boy, the whole tenor of the game changes when Kiermaier hits the home run. Paul, I wanted to talk to you about the Yankee lineup facing the veteran Charlie Morton, who I thought was fantastic, getting ahead in the count with two seamers. But a big part in this game was the third inning. Luke Voigt was up there with the bases loaded and maybe a chance to do some damage. A questionable 3-0 pitch for strike one, questionable 3-1 pitch for strike two. He ends up grounding out. Yeah, I mean, obviously a huge part of the game. You throw up some runs there. Uh, Luke Voigt has been in some opportunity, and uh, you know, in this playoff or you know, during the season, you're so accustomed to seeing him do it. But uh, you know, big at bats sometimes don't go your way. The umpiring was questionable, not nearly as bad as it was last night. In my mind, that ball was low on the strike him out, throw him out, but it did set up for a huge inning for the race. All right. So